Hey, what is going on guys? AlphaGamer12 here with another episode of The Road to Glory. So today we're gonna be doing mostly games. I think we're gonna play a couple of games today. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think we're gonna work on anything else today. Uh, our, our coin total is a little bit low because we're waiting on the players that we have packed in the last episode, which you should go check out now if you haven't already. Um, because yeah they're pretty good they're pretty nice so you should go check that out so let's open this pack up first and then we'll get into the games that we're going to be playing all right so i still don't really understand what tells you if it's a walkout or not i think that's not yeah it's not okay though valboyman does go for a couple thousand coins i think if i do remember properly it's like two or three k and i know the De shiglio does yeah so three k for valbuena Oh, are they untradeable? Yeah, they are. Okay, well, we could use them in pack in uh, SBCs or something, that's fine. All right, guys, so as always, we're just gonna have a little chat uh, while the highlights from the games go on. So, um, I just wanted to talk about how FIFA is right now. Um, I still really don't like playing against the computer. Um, I think that when the computer has a much a stronger team, that the com computer just becomes so, so powerful. It's very difficult to play against. Like I can uh, play a lot of nice football against a lower like rated uh, squad battle team. But as soon as I start seeing the gold players, I just instantly, it becomes so difficult, even if it's on the same difficulty and I just get destroyed. So um. I don't know, maybe there needs to be some sort of balance. Something else I noticed, I've created a lot of chances from out on the wing that are over the top crosses for my back post winger. And uh, I, get, I just can never put them away. And um, something else that I've noticed is that, uh, like you guys just saw on the screen, something that seems to be not necessarily overpowered but very, very effective is taking the ball around the goalkeeper in one-on-one -on -one situations. I probably scored five or six of them. And, and uh, I think most of the uh, the one-on-one uh, -on -one chances that I've had that I've missed have been just from me missing uh, opportunities that I just tried to shoot earlier. I think er shooting early definitely doesn't work. So I remember taking one at some point around the uh, penalty spot area and the goalkeeper just had more than enough time to react and save it. So that was a good finish for my striker. Um, you guys saw I missed another header like I was talking about the back post. They just don't seem to go anywhere. And um, there's a lot of chances that I just kind of waste. Like that one where I just try to do, do too much. I should have taken it a little bit earlier. And I realize that now. But while I'm playing, I don't. Um, defending still is awkward for me. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. And so this is my first chance to look at a free kick properly. And I just, I really struggled with them. I'm hoping I eventually will really learn them. Right now I'm struggling. Uh, as you guys can see, we went to extra time and it just, it's very difficult. So I have a couple of tips for um, when you're playing. Uh, don't hit it so hard as that because then it's almost impossible to get back in. But yeah, uh, take your time when you're playing games and just make sure that you do everything right. Like don't try, especially this year, I try to build up very, very quickly. And what ends up happening is I just lose the ball because I'm trying to build up way too quickly. So just take your time and build up slowly and make sure you build a proper chance because the likelihood is you're going to get hit on the counter and it'll go from you having a chance to them scoring and you'll just be in a lot of trouble. Also, uh, so I'm just going to head right back into another game. But you guys, something that you guys can definitely do are these objectives. I really think you guys should try to get the seasons done because I think the rewards from them are actually quite helpful. And it's not like you're doing anything that actually hurts you. I mean, I know some of them are kind of annoying. And we'll talk, I think, next episode on how you can fix some of the, fix some of the glitches with some of them. But uh, yeah, uh, just try to get through them because I promise you it'll be worth it. Again, SBCs just like last game, not last game, last episode, sorry. Um, the SBCs that I did didn't cost me that much and I ended up making so much money just because of the players that we end up packing. So definitely make sure to uh, go through and do marquee matchups, do the advanced SBCs. I promise they will be worth it. So we come up against this team and it's very interesting. He's made some choices that I definitely wouldn't make when I was building a team I would not put James Rodriguez and uh, actually going into this game I made a big mistake I did not realize that um 
the time was what it was so i went into the game thinking i could finish the game and i actually couldn't you guys will see at the end that i actually had to quit but uh yeah this game did not really go well for me i really don't know what i should have done in that situation right there i, I definitely should have taken the shot with lingard at the very least but uh it's a very difficult situation i need to figure out what exactly i need to do there and just that's a great finish from him i don't really know what i could have done to defend this and here's another example of that so just beautiful passing play that's definitely something that's good but what am i supposed to do here so i just hold off on the defender because i know that he's gonna go through and as much as i hold off the defender just does nothing and he just goes right through and he scores so i don't really understand the defending mechanics in this game and then i get a straight red here for I understand that it's a bad tackle, but I was running straight in front of him to try to cut off the ball. I wasn't actually aiming anywhere near the defender. I think that slide tackles are really, really bad in this game. If you guys can avoid sliding, I really think that you should because sliding just doesn't seem to work. At least for me, if it works for you, great. Good for you. I'm actually kind of jealous of you, but it does not at all work for me. Uh, and you see, I was very much hurting for like highlights on my side i just i i did get destroyed this guy did play very well i don't really know why i uh it did a ronaldo chop there i wasn't holding uh lt it just decided that it wanted to do ronaldo chop and here again remember how i was telling you guys that you need to master the goalkeeper coming up you definitely should it's very good uh yeah that's kind of it really i don't have much else in this game and then i had to turn it off because um I had class and I, I, I needed to leave. So um, this is a short episode, I know, but uh, it's it was just here to continue working and I gave you guys a couple of tips. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time.